for a library of 400 full-length yoga and HIIT classes plus ongoing new classes and schedules weekly. Come to my website at alikaminovo.com and join my membership. Namaste beautiful yogis. This is going to be a quick coffee cup class. Let's begin. Starting at the front of the mat, inhale your hands over the head, bring them over the heart, inhale them out, fingertips reaching away from each other, pull the belly in, activating the deep abdominal muscles, press into all four corners of each foot, really allowing your feet to begin sinking into the mat, and at the same time elongating the spine through the crown of the head, up. So you're feeling all these forces working in five different directions, through the fingertips, through the feet, and through the head. Reaching, expanding, feeling the energies of the body, tuning into the energies of the body. Nice deep inhalations, followed by complete exhalations. Shifting your weight onto your right leg. Take the left leg back, all the way to warrior three. Bend the right knee, step your left leg back to warrior one, reaching over the head. Open warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle, right hand on the floor, reaching over the head. Look down, take your left hand to the floor, right arm up, revolving half moon. Power up the right leg, come up, warrior three, back up to standing, shifting onto the left leg. Warrior three. Airplane the arms or superman the arms out. Step it back, warrior one. Easy, fluidly moving here. You don't have to go to a really deep pose, just easing into the practice, warrior two. Reverse it, side angle. Look ahead of you. Shift to half moon. Lift into warrior tree. Step it back to the front. Shift onto the right side. Superman warrior tree. Level the hips. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse it. This time straighten the right knee. Triangle pose. Easy. Look down, bend the right knee, and we're going to do a few little steps or one big to revolving half moon. To warrior three, balancing. Balancing today, step it down, shifting, superman warrior three. Warrior two, uh, warrior one, sorry. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Reverse it, right hand down the right leg. Straighten the leg. Triangle pose. Try to take the tailbone under here. So if you look at the screen, I don't know how well it's showing here, but if you don't tuck your tailbone, you'll be like, a little crooked, such as what I'm showing. When you tuck it under, everything gets in the same plane or intends to do that. 
Alright, bending the front knee, get your balance <laughs> working and transition. One shift if you can, if not, no big deal. Two, revolving half moon. Two, warrior three. We can do it. Level the hips, come up to standing. Let's go third round. Shifting onto the right side, Superman Warrior 3. This time, instead of Warrior 1, we're gonna do high lunge, bend the right knee, step back, high lunge, and jump your right foot up five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now jump the left foot five times. One, two, three, four, Five. Excellent. Hands in prayer. Twist. Release the left hand on the inside of the right foot. Roll onto the outer edges of both feet. Sit into your right hip. Feel the hip opening. Grab the big toe, right big toe with your right hand yogi coat and open here release we're gonna do toe touches ten of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Opposite foot, now left foot to right hand. One, two, extend in between touches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, glide your left foot forward, bring both hands on the floor. And allow this stretch here, gliding on the outer edge of the left foot and finding a stretch in the hip here. Very good. Step your left foot out now and feel that hip opening. Think of it as a dancer's pose. You're really feeling it and feeling your hip in it. There is no particular place you need to be in here. That's not a square masculine pose that's a very feminine feminine dense pose just feeling the fluidity of the body you can bring the spine into this and move a few more of those tippy toes great let's bring a little bit of masculinity the yang element push up one two three step it back first plank hold it and shift it forward and back shifting your plank forward and back forward and back forward and back great jump your feet between your hands exhale first forward fold you come up to standing we're totally reversing the order of how we do things because that's always a good thing to break up the attachment to poses. All right, shifting onto the left leg, warrior three. Level the hips, turn the toes down, flex the foot on the right side. Step it back to high lunge, five jumps with the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, five with the right. One, two, three, four, five. Hands in prayer, twist. Right hand on the inside of the left foot, 
roll onto the outer edges of your feet and feel that hip opening, left hip. In this case, yogic hold, big toe, lift, release, and we're gonna go for toe touches. One, left hand, left foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten opposite side, right foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, bring both hands down on the floor, glide your left, right foot across from your body, feel that stretch, feel it in your right hip. It should feel amazing, something needed. Step your right foot out and feel now that the hip opener onto your toes and just feel the hip fluidly opening. Moving the hips. Beautiful. Hands in push up. One push up. Two. Three. Step it back. Plank. Now we're gonna go for a coffee cup interval. Which is also a plank interval and I'll demonstrate the first rep. Feel free to follow along or just join after the first rep. We'll go one, jumping the feet in, two, jumping closer, three, jumping the knees between the elbows and then reverse it, three small jumps. One, keeping the knees off the mat, two, three, two, plank. So let's do five of them and then I'll tell you then <laughs> one two knees just off the floor three reverse one two three one two this is challenging three Four. One more for good measure. All right. Come back to plank. And we're going to jump the feet on the outside of the hands. Come up, squat jump, keep your booty back. Back to push up, forward. Back to push up. You can do a star push up, jump the feet back, jump them out, push up, and jump them forward. Let's do five of those. I hear my baby talking, so. When she calls me, I'll go bring her and she'll join us for the rest of the coffee cup. So, I'm really ready to go. Jump back, start push up, low squats. Two. Ooh. Three. Keeping the squats low is where it is at. Four. Really hurts. Okay, 
plank, hold it, hold it to knee tucks, knee tucks with a circle, so circle the right knee, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, all right, down dog, you deserve a down dog. <sighs> Nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. Take your right leg to the front of the mat. Come up and we're gonna do just a few side lunge squats. Take your feet a little wider than hip width apart. And we're gonna go for three surfers. One, two, three. Hands on the ground. Jump it back. Push up. Step it forward. Three more. One, two, three. Push up. One, two. Three, push up. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three more. One, two, three. That's one. Two more. One, two, three. That's two. back up for side for side out face side squat lunges just shifting side to side now reaching side to side now reaching over the head over the head over the head over the head all right, plank. Take the right knee between your elbows. Step the right foot across. Side plank. Two. Tabletop. Let's drop the left hand down. Turn the fingers on the right side forward and we're gonna do five jumps. One, two, three, four, five to four jump ups, single leg. One, two, alternating, three, four, reverse it, two, plank, step it back, left knee between the elbows. Step it across, tabletop, five jumps, one, two, three, four. Keep your hips as lifted as you can for five, four jumps with the legs. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse it, step it back, right knee in, step it through. Five jumps. One, keep the hips lifted. Two, three, four, five, four jumps. One, two, three, four. I was gonna keep going, but <laughs> opposite side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three, four, 
quickly last round quickly moving one two three four five one two three four last one one two three four five one two three four five Ooh, that's a booty killer two pigeon on the right side not a long pigeon this is a coffee cup after all lift your chest breathe very slowly opposite side stretching in motion although you may think that doesn't work it does trust me uh, short stretching is what I was talking about you may think oh why are we not lingering because there is a way to stretch through holding and a way through movement and not one of those ways is more effective than the other they're both different and they keep you agile inflexible all right start plank jumps step it back and we're going to jump the feet five times on the outside we're only counting the feet outside of the mat is one one two three four five jump your feet to the front one two three four Keep it low, but otherwise it's cardio, but it's not booty. One, two, three, four, five, belly in. One, two, three. This is over. Five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Jump it to the front low. One. If you're able to do this, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Two, three, straight back. Please, straight back. Four, five. And my thighs are officially dead. Since they're dead, dead let's sit back in chair. Take your tailbone under. Hands in prayer. Bring your right hand to your left thigh. Look down, make sure. That your knees are together, opposite side. One more side to the right elbow to the left. Or, yes, take the right leg back, twist lunge, step it to the front, opposite side. Step it to the front. Squat down in a squat and sit down. Soles of the feet together. Don't be afraid to breathe. All right, forward bend. Press your toes back, forward bend. Wide legged forward bend. Booty back, knees up, flex your feet. Extend the right leg down, right arm up, left leg bent, twist, and either just stay here or clasp under. Keep your right leg very active, shoulders back and down. You can lift your left leg off the floor, put it 
back down, change sides. Clasping optional. Open here, look over the shoulder. Release. One more forward bend. We're going to lower down onto the floor. Lean star. So your feet are legs are out, arms are out, and we're going to touch opposite hand to toe. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Send to a supine twist, right knee in and across, shoulder down, look away from you. Opposite side. Knees into the chest. Twist our draw circles with your knees, opposite side, soles of the feet together, lay down, reclining bound angle, and let's bring the hands underneath on the side of the legs to bring the legs together. Here we're going to come up and go for a twist. Soles of the feet down on the ground, hands behind you or to the side depending on your twist stability level. Forehead coming down to the floor, opposite side. This is a full spinal twist. Lower down and relax here for a few moments. Allowing yourself to come back to your breath and to the sensation of being you. Allowing yourself to fully be immersed in that sensation of being you. A particle in the universe, a particle of the universal one, but being fully you. Being your creative fire, your creative particle, soul, self. Envisioning yourself laying in a lush field of grass and flowers. And as if you're weightless, floating, all surrounded by that lush grass and flowers in the safety of, of the hug of the hold of Mother Earth being caressed by the sunlight, feeling the sunlight on your skin is this gentle caress. Feeling the light, warm breeze on your skin, feeling the movement of the flowers and grasses around you Feeling the freshness of the air, the warmth of the sun, the stability of the earth underneath you, holding you, being there for you. Nurturing you, protecting you. While your heart is free to be playful, creative, giving, Exuberant, excited, generous, loving. Mm -hmm. 
keeping that feeling of safety, liveliness, playfulness. Joy for the mind, soul, body, lightness, that feeling of lightness because we are safe, protected, nurtured and there is room for growth and expression and joy and playfulness, feeling that sense, feeling and we're keeping preserving that feeling and sensation slowly begin to move your toes and fingers and bring yourself back to the room you're occupying that you're currently in feel the floor underneath you and the sensation of the air on your skin holding that feeling that we just created in your heart let's bring the hands over the heart palms down towards your skin towards your heart keeping that feeling in bringing it in Great, let's roll onto our right side. Use your left hand to press yourself up to sit it. If you can keep your eyes closed, keep them closed. Rock a little bit here, sitting in easy pose. Just rock gently and easy, however it feels good. Rock. Inhale your hands out to the sides and bring them over the heart as if you're scooping air and whatever prana or whatever is in the air and bringing it into the heart and again scooping in and scooping air in and breathe it all in feeling full of that sensation generously taking ready to generously give as you go into your day let's inhale the hands over the head over the third eye for always seeing the truth. Over the throat for always speaking the truth, expressing yourself. And over the heart. Let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste. Namaste.